<laughs> Beatriz, don't break it. No, just kidding. <laughs> Who knows what this is called? Is that more than one? Design it, as you see here, and then you 3D print it. That's when I show you outside. You know, with the base, right? That you can hold onto it, kind of like an ice cream cone. Okay. So I'm gonna show you how to make that feature. So I did a sketch. Everyone, welcome to Pipeline Design and Engineering. Just an overview of what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you what it's like to be a mechanical engineer. Why is a warehouse important? Because when you design something on the computer, you gotta bring it to life. Yeah. Who knows what this is called? Exactly, right? So I actually designed this as one of the projects when I joined this company as a junior engineer, and it's got some different features that I designed. And um, I wish I had more than one. <laughs> you all had a chance to see on the computer because first you got to design it as you see here and then you 3d print it that's when they show you outside and then you get it in your hands um, this is a program called CAD as we showed before and then you start adding different features like this is the fidget spinner the, the triangle here that you're looking at and little by little you start bringing them to life so that's the disc and piece by piece you start making them so let's not judge her, this is her first time using this. <laughs> you should see my first time. So let's drink it in 3D, like this, boom, boom, different planes floating in the air, as you can see. You gotta choose the plane that you wanna draw on, approximately. Who wants to guess? What's the diameter of that disc? Yeah, you wanna double click on the dimension, and then you wanna type in... <laughs> Beatriz, don't break it. No, just kidding. <laughs> so what we do... You know, with the base, right, that you can hold onto it, kind of like an ice cream cone? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make that feature. Okay. It's called a revolve. Did everyone see that? Mm -hmm. So I did a sketch, revolve, and we bring it to wow. life. Boom. See? Oh, okay. The mask is better. The school that you go to, do you have three printers? No? no? Not yet. Maybe we should... We should write some grants or something like that to get three printers. We might be having one next year. Which brings me to our next point, which is not about engineering necessarily. The value, the value of knowing how to write and writing a good letter for scholarships and requesting things. If you develop that skill later on in life, you can be deadly. And that's what you want to go for. You want to be able to defend yourself. No one ever tells students why they should write something. It's like, well, you have to do this assignment. Well, why are you writing? Well, you need the grade. It's like, no, you need to learn to think because thinking makes you act effectively in the world. Thinking makes you win the battles you undertake. And those could be battles for good things. If you can think and speak and write, you are absolutely deadly. And okay, 3D printers, here they are. Um, it's probably not necessary for us to get into the details. Um, what do you think, Carlos? Should we tell them something more about 3D printers? You want to take it away? Sure thing. Plastic. Uh, that's used for the 3D printers. This is a plate that we're working on. This is going to be a product that we're going to develop for design accelerating. Be careful with the bottom of the plate. Um, so you grab a chunk of material. You just, this one, this wheel goes this way. This wheel. So this is a podcast room, as you can see from everything. There's foam we're making it soundproof. And this is where we record the Being an Engineer podcast here at Pipeline. I'm one of the co-hosts, and Aaron Munker is the host. Oh. Could we do that prayer one more time? Because uh, oh. that's beautiful. Could we, could one we do more one more prayer? Yeah. I'd like some more. Sorry. Yeah. Amen. Miss Romero. Miss Romero. She had a good question, which was? For advanced engineering classes. These are calibers? So these are calibers. The reason why I chose this is because I love entrepreneurship. I love inventing things. And that's why I chose mechanical engineering. I would like to um, work at the hospital and help the babies that are premature. To you too. I was going to ask you, what, what is this right, that we have right here? What is this called? What does this do? Um, a tor tortilla maker, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny when they were saying that. Oh.